Hello, can I speak to Sula Holman Lee, please? Hello, Sula. Um, my name is Sharon O'Flynn, and um, I'm phoning you about the modelling courses. In 1985, a model in the making illustrated how teenage girls could follow their dreams and have a career on the catwalk. I said, you're looking too far. All right, you're looking too far. Try it again on the way back. That's it, now throw yourselves back. Use your hands, girls, use your hands. Celia, tell me, how has the industry changed since that film? Oh my God, first of all, I'd say, did you see the turns? Did you see that mad turn, me going around like I was doing the jigs and reels, doing a twirl? Yes, it, it has changed. The only thing that hasn't changed is the actual walk. Other than that, the mannerisms, the way you approach the ramp nowadays, there's all different uh, personalities that you have to bring to it. Going back then, 31 years ago when we made that, and may I say, hello Tara Banks, hello Naomi Campbell, <laughs> we were there before you, a model in the making, we were there. These are the main things that you will need in your carry-all bag. For instance, some berries, lots of coloured tights, your jewellery box, of course your makeup kit, some gloves and belts and shoes. Celia, I have to laugh. Your yeah. survival kit was yes. something to behold. <laughs> I, know, I know. Do you still teach your girls to do the same? Well, um, now that I'm at this age and the whole, <laughs> the whole, uh, the whole family are in the business. My beautiful Asta behind me handles all of that now. She handles most of all of the courses and that kind of thing. I make an appearance like the, like the queen, <laughs> give it out, and then I'm gone out the door again. Yes, it, of course it has. Did you see me tying up the poor young one's hair? I'd poor say, Sharon. She was probably in bits. She, she was sitting there. And we're gonna twist and twist. Did you always want to be a model? Always, yes. Why is that? I don't know, I just was sort of fascinated by it when I was younger. Sharon, it is lovely to meet you. Thank you. And you were so posh, I can't get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us what you remember from the shoot? Oh, it was amazing, it was fantastic. Um, you know, hectic, um, all go and a great experience. So tell us, did you have a career as a model? I did actually, yes. <laughs> For a number of years afterwards, um, did a lot of the big shows in Ireland and fabulous career. I did it for about seven years and then wow. moved to the UK. Yeah, so. Was it everything that you dreamed it would be? Yes, it was. It was a fantastic experience. Great way to grow up and to learn about people and personalities. Um, so it was fantastic. Do you have any advice for any young models starting off? I'd say they could probably give me advice at this stage, but I, <laughs> I'd say go for it. Don't be afraid. And you look back with great memories, great experience. You never know where it'll take you. OK, girls, when you're using your mousse, I only want to use very, very little of it on your hair. So stroke it right through the hair and then run your comb through it. And then using an elastic band or a pipe cleaner, you can tie the hair together at the back. Susan, what can you remember of the day? I remember the big hair, the shoulder pads, Crystal Carrington, most of all the high-waisted trousers. Oh my <laughs> God, I laughed, I laughed when I saw it. You must see the trends coming around and like it's kind of big now again. You know, I don't think the 80s will ever be back, but what we did learn was we learned how to control hair, whereas now we really have it down to a fine art. Adele, you were the makeup woman on the day. How did you see the trends changing over the last 31 years? Because there must have been a few trend changes. I suppose the trends now are that a lot of young people are much more, I think, familiar and they know an awful lot more about it because they have their YouTube videos on, um, you know, on the different methods of makeup application and probably a lot more pressure on them, on them also to have their makeup prepared for selfies and that kind of thing. We got away with a little bit more, I think, going back then. One of the most important things is your makeup bag. You need to keep that filled with definitely some eye colours that work for you. Good foundation, a good yeah. powder yeah. that sets your foundation and shine doesn't come through. Asta, you are Celia's daughter-in-law. I am. Beauty runs throughout the whole family. Obviously, as a business that has longevity, you have to diversify. I train models, but the course is also um, designed for everyone, for any girl who is determined but is lacking in confidence. You have to kind of look at the, at the old tricks to bring it to the new era. 
Okay, Shauna, you've done the course, so what did you learn from it? Um, you, number one, you learn how to walk, which is very important, obviously. Head behind the shoulder, shoulders behind your waist, and just as straight as you can be. She's very bossy, isn't she? She can be, but I think tough love is the way forward. I think that works and has definitely pushed me on anyway. We're going back in time now to a time when the actual modelling was a little bit different than it is today, especially the walking side of it. And this young woman came into me at 15, 16 years of age. And maybe it's a little longer, but um, it's still sort of the carriage and the posture has to be the same. So that was always the same. <laughs> now, will we have a go the way we used to do yes. it? One, two, one, I will twirl around. One, two, three. Four and one, two, three, four. <laughs> Do you think your young self, 31 years ago, thought that you'd still be going today? They ask people why longevity uh, occurs in an industry or a business or whatever it is you're doing. I personally think it's because I found in my own, I'm not even known that I'd found it, I'd found something I loved and kept going and going and going, no matter what it was. And uh, it has ended up as it is today, one of the longest running agencies in the whole country.